Welcome to day 24 of our fasting and prayer devotionals. I'm Pastor Allison. I'm the children's pastor out of Harvest Time in Eau Claire. Today's devotion is going to come out at Exodus chapter 14, verses 13 and 14. And this is kind of one of our core verses that we're using through this whole series. But um, I, I've been standing on this verse for a couple of years, and I want to tell you a little story that kind of goes along with it. A few years ago, I was at a conference. And while I was at this conference, there was something happening back home that I was really nervous and anxious about. And I really was needing to trust God, but I am a doer and I like to um, handle things myself. I mean, I'm sure all of us are like that. We like to participate and be in things. And for whatever reason, um, in this situation, I was not able to be present. And so I was at this conference and it was a huge trust exercise for me to trust that God was going to handle something without me being there. But because I was stressed about this uh, event that was happening, um, I decided I was going to pray at exactly the time this event was going to start. And I was like, God, I'm, I'm going to pray and I'm going to pray for this thing exactly when it starts um, because I, I just, I just want to pray it through. And um, what I did was is that the conference started about nine o'clock that morning and I grabbed my phone and I put it on my leg and I just kept checking it like every 30 seconds to see exactly when 10 o'clock hit. Cause at 10 o'clock I was going to pray for this event and I put it on my, uh, on my knee and I'm just checking, 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 checking. And I'm following along to the conference. Everything's good. About nine 30, the speaker gets up and he's this amazing speaker. He's got this great story, which is really nice cause it's helping pass the time. And I'm, listening to his story and it's getting closer and closer and my heart's beating faster and faster because I know that 10 o'clock is approaching and I'm, I'm going to pray this through. I'm going to pray this thing. I'm going to stop at exactly that moment and I'm going to pray even if it's just 30 seconds. And all of a sudden uh, the speaker's talking and I'm really engaged with what he's saying. And he tells a story about his wife and his wife going through uh, loss. They had the loss of a child and they had uh, an, another pregnancy and there was complications and she was stressed out and she didn't know what was gonna happen. And so he calls his wife up and he says, I want my wife to share the verse that God gave her at this exact time at, the, at this uh, doctor's office that she was in. I want her to share that verse with you. So the wife walks up into the stage and she stands before the crowd and my clock turns 10. And as the clock turns 10, the wife says, but Moses told the people, don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again, but the Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. At that moment, I could have broken down into a sobbing mess because this was the verse that God had given me a year prior, a verse that I'd been praying through for the, the previous year and trusting God with. And all of a sudden, at the exact moment that the situation was happening on another side of the U.S., I'm sitting there hearing somebody who doesn't know me, doesn't know my situation, speak the word that God had given me about this situation for the last year. This moment to me was so... Uh, I, can't, I don't even, there's no words for it. Like I, the, this moment meant so much to me of what God was doing, how he was putting all these pieces together. And he just spoke to me. He was like, Allison, if I can give you this exact word from a complete stranger in a conference of thousands of people at the exact minute, something else is happening on the other side of the United States. Don't you think I have this? Don't you think I have it handled? And I broke and I just began to repent to God for my lack of trust in him. I actually went up to the speaker afterwards and I was like, hey, just so you know, that whole thing was for me. It wasn't for anybody else here. And he kind of laughed and I told him the situation and he prayed with me. But it's so funny to me that sometimes we're so uh, passionate about striving for a solution. We are, we are going to, we're going to pray it through. We're going to be the one who does. And sometimes God just comes down and he says, listen, just stand still and watch me work. Just watch what I'm going to do. You're not going to have to fight in this. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to have to trust and believe. But how many of you know, sometimes it's easier to, to do than it is to be. And this stand here is challenging us to be still and trust God. Trust God with whatever it is, how small or how big it is, because he's got it handled. He sees it. He knows it. And we can confidently put our hope and our trust in him. Would you do that today? Would you take a minute and just be still? Don't bring anything to God. Don't give him your list of things that you need. 
give him your trust. Just stand before him and worship. Take two or three minutes just to worship and say, God, I trust you. God, I trust that you are able, that you see the big picture, that you know what you're doing, and I can put all of my hope and my trust in you. I pray today you are blessed. I pray that God meets you with his stillness today. Have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.